Good afternoon, dear students. Welcome back to your English class. Today, we will learn this、uh, poem in chapter four, Little Things. Little things, little drops of water, little grains of sand, make the mighty ocean and the beauteous land. And the little moments, humble though they be, make the mighty ages of eternity. Little deeds of kindness, little words of love, make our earth an Eden, like the heaven above. Let's read it again. Little things. So the poet here reminds us about the joy of paying attention to the little things in life that we often ignore, the things that make our life special, little deeds of kindness and love. Okay, read with me. Little drops of water, little grains of sand, make the mighty ocean and the beauteous land, and the little moments. Humble though they be, make the mighty ages of eternity. Little deeds of kindness, little words of love, make our earth an Eden, like the heaven above. Okay, so the poet is Julia Abigail Fletcher Carney, born in eighteen twenty three and died on nineteen hundred eight. She was a teacher and poet from the United States of America. She became famous for writing this poem in eighteen forty five. Many of her other poems have been published in school textbooks. Now let's expand your understanding. What do you mean by beauteous? It simply means beautiful, and then for eternity, that is time without end. The last one is Eden. So what do you mean by Eden? It is a place of happiness and innocence from the Bible. Time to answer these questions. So read and answer. Number one, mention if the following are true or false. So letter A: Little drops of water make a beautiful land. No, it is false. It's actually the land. Beauteous means beautiful. True. Little moments are humble. Of course, true. And then letter D. It is not possible for our earth to become like heaven. Is it true or false? It is false because it is possible for earth to become like heaven. Okay. So number two question. What is the answer for this? What do little moments make? So the answer is, little moments make an eternity. Okay, number three, what do little deeds of kindness and words of love do? The answer here is, little deeds of kindness and words of love can make our earth like heaven. We all want to live in a heavenly world, right? So we just have to practice at least little deeds of kindness and words of love. Okay, next is number four. Arrange the following lines in the order that they appear in the poem. So number one, sequence. This is sequencing of events. Number one is little grains of sand. What is number two? Letter D, an abutious land. Number three, humble though they be. And then number four, little words of kindness. And then fifth one, make our earth an Eden. Then let's go to number five. Number the lines in the poem. Which lines rhyme with each other? So please number it. So the answers are two and four. So what are second line and fourth line? Little grains of sand and the beauteous land. The next one is six and eight that rhyme. What is six and eight? Humble though they be, of eternity they rhyme. And then, ten and twelve little worlds of love, like the heaven above. Okay, letter B. Think and answer number six. And the little moments humble though they be. Why is the poet calling the little moments humble? Number seven. Why do you think it is important to be with, to be happy with little things? Let's answer together. Okay, number six answer. 
The little moments are called humble because although no one pays much attention to them, these moments are the ones that make a difference. So that doesn't mean because it's little moments like just helping your own mother in uh, chores, that doesn't mean that these things do not matter. Number seven, it is important to appreciate little things and be happy with them. If one always wants something other than what they already have, they will be unhappy and dissatisfied. So it is better to value whatever one has and be happy. Or in simple terms, you, we should be contented of what we are at the moment or what we have at the moment. Okay, this activity, I want you to do this by yourself, okay? And write this, write this itself in the book. Make a list of five little things that you could do to make someone else happy. For example, help mother in small household chores. Or play with little sister or little brother. Or you can also say, spend some time with grandmother or grandfather. Okay, self-assessment. So this is... A self-evaluation, um, which one is uh, your favorite or the things that you had enjoyed learning? You draw a smiley on it, either collocations, did you enjoy articles, or the k and sh sounds, and then is it listening and drawing or writing a story? So draw a smiley on it. That concludes our lessons for today. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please do your homework legibly and send it to me as soon as you are done.